Hello, Aptera fans. Well, it's uh, November 15th, and as you can see, the weather has changed quite a bit since the last time I spoke with you, and a lot has happened with Aptera. Uh, I would like to go over a few of the things that uh, we have found out. The uh, Gamma vehicle has been revealed, and a lot of you have had a chance to see videos featuring that. Uh, today we had a seminar uh, this morning by uh, Ilafe, the builder of the wheel motors, and we were able to uh, learn a few things about how they're tested. Now, because of my uh, previous work uh, with Marine EVs, uh, I used to work for a company that uh, made uh, EVs for, uh, for boats, and um, I contacted Ilafe uh, when I found out they were building motors for Aptera, and I had a discussion with them about what we had learned uh, in building uh, motors for use in saltwater, and uh, I found out that uh, Aptera uh, has uh, uh, chosen a company that's uh, very thorough and uh, has really been doing their research. In fact, uh, in Europe, Ilafe has uh, uh, developed many of the quality standards for use in wheel motors in cooperation with the European quality people and um, they uh, have been doing things for instance like um, uh, looking up the stack tolerances and building a wheel and then testing to uh, worst case conditions uh, instead of uh, doing a, a uh, an, an average, well-assembled uh, motor for their uh, their testing, and uh, I think this works uh, uh, reflects really well on what they're doing. Uh, the other big piece of news is that uh, Aptera has changed the plan for building a body. They've actually chosen uh, the Italian company CPC, and they're going to be using the same construction techniques that uh, CPC has been supplying with the uh, supercar companies uh, such as Lamborghini and uh, many of the other big Italian firms. Um, this promises to produce a lighter and stronger body than what Aptera was going to be doing before, but even more than that, uh, it's they're going to have a larger production capacity. So it's possible that the change in production plans may delay the uh, production of the initial bodies, but it sounds like they're going to be able to ramp up the production speed uh, quite a bit faster than they could have done with the older body construction technique. Something I'm really excited about. So uh, uh, we hope that we're going to have a Delta vehicle uh, design at least unveiled by the end of the year. We'll see how that goes, but uh, we have so many other pieces of good news happening in Aptera development that I'm not too worried about that. And just from a personal standpoint, you can see the kind of uh, weather that uh, I'm facing here in Iowa, and uh, I'll be getting one of the first 50 Aptera and plan to bring it here and whatever Ever weather conditions we have, I plan to be using my vehicle uh, in all four seasons. And rather just being a, a fair weather Southern California vehicle, I'll soon be reporting on how it performs under more severe conditions. Uh, in this er rural area, we have lots of, uh, of gravel road and uh, other uh, uh, weather extremes and conditions that uh, are going to give it a workout. So thank you very much for listening and I hope to be seeing you all before too long. Bye-bye.